Welcome. Today we're working on an upgrade of our existing Notes client to HCL Notes version 11. We make a few assumptions. First, you have a working Lotus Notes client on your Microsoft Windows machine. Secondly, we assume you have access to the HCL Notes client version 11 software for Windows. Thirdly, you have administrative access to load software on your Microsoft Windows machine. Lastly, you have a reliable backup. If you're running HCL Notes version 11 client in your environment, even if it's just for testing, let us know in the comments below. Let's start upgrading the Lotus Notes client to HCL Notes version 11. This install will upgrade the Notes client, the Designer client, and the Administrator client. If you're upgrading desktops for your users, you can use this process to update them one by one manually. Built into Notes and Domino is a number of installation and upgrade processes. These include Domino Smart Upgrade Process, AUT Automatic Update Server, using this upgrade process with command line options to perform silent installs. HCL recently released the AUT service for upgrading the Notes client. We are hoping to create a video on how to set up the automatic update server to upgrade your HCL Notes clients. Let's get started. We have our HCL Notes software on the desktop. This doesn't mean you have to put the software on your desktop. It just makes it simpler to find it for this class. Double click the icon. Do you want to allow the app to make changes to your workstation? Select yes. This is the HCL Notes Install Shield Wizard. It will control the installation process. Decide where you want to unpack these installation files. If you're only upgrading one desktop, then leave it set to the default. The process will unpack the software and clean up when it's completed. If you think you're going to use the software installer more than once, select the bottom entry and enter a location where you want the installation files extracted. In this case, we're going to put them in Temp HCL Notes. Now the reason behind this is this first part is going to extract all the files that we're going to use for this install. Then it's going to auto start the installer. If you have more machines you want to upgrade manually, you can copy these extracted files to all the computers or put them on a file share. Execute setup and we can run the installation software without waiting for the extraction. Select next. Read through your HCL notes license agreement, making sure you are in compliance. Accept the terms, select next, make sure your directories match up. This is where the program files go. This is where the data directory is located. These will be different on your install. Because this is an upgrade of an existing install, you notice the IBM is there from the previous version. If this were a new install, it would say HCL notes and HCL notes data. Select next. Here's where we control the software components that are installed on your workstation. In our case, this is an administrator and developer machine. I need the HCL notes client. I also need the HCL domino designer and I need the HCL Domino Administrator. We can control which software components are installed on our system. In our case, 
If I wanted to use the single side-on, I could go in here and select this entry and all the sub-features that install with it. In my case, because I switch IDs a lot, single sign-on proves to be a challenge. Anything about the designer client, I can select here. All the administrative components can be selected through these entries. If I have a connection server, I can select the components for integration. If I make composite applications, I can select the composite editor to be installed. Once I get everything the way I want, select Next. This provides us a chance to select if we want notes to be our default email, calendar, and contacts. These can be changed later if necessary. Yes, I do. Select Install. My install will take approximately 8 minutes. I will speed the video up so it only looks like it takes a minute. Several factors determine the speed of the software installation. The power of your workstation, the speed of the hard drives can have significant impact. The install process is complete. Select Finish and you're good to go. Typically when I do a software installation or upgrade, the first thing I do is open up all the applications. Open HCL Notes Client. You notice down here, it's doing some processing. Open up the HCL admin client. Open up the HCL Designer Client. We have all three clients configured. Here's the HCL Designer Client. And of course the HCL Notes Client. So those are the steps to upgrade the HCL Notes Client, Designer, and Administrator Client. We hope you find this video helpful and feel free to watch our other videos. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let us know in the comments below.